Hey up everyone, Farmer Darrell here at Cannon Hall Farm and today we're going to do another little educational video and today we're going to do it about our Valley Black Nose and I know what you're thinking, can't believe we ain't done one already so we're going to go over to Roundhouse and we're going to meet our flock, come with me Right then, so here we are up in the Roundhouse and behind me you can see uh, our flock of valets. These are the females, these are the ewes and uh, as you can see they've got those distinctive horns. Now in this breed, the valet black nose, which is very rare, um, the horns are very important for breed standard. So both the males and the females have the twisted horns. Now as I said these are all females, you can expect these ladies to grow up to about 90 kilos whereas the males will attain around 130 uh, kilos maximum so it's quite a bit of a difference. The wool as you can see is very long, it can grow up to 100 millimetres uh, in length. They do tend to be sheared twice a year because of this very thick wool uh, which, is, which is also good uh, for their care. We can see underneath what's going off but where they originate from in Switzerland uh, it's the Valet region, and the name Valet Black Nose, and of course the black coloration of the nose. But not just the black nose, they also have uh, the black eyes, the black ears, and uh, the black hocks uh, as well. So that is important for breed standard. Now the Valet Black Nose, believe it or not, has been around since the 15th century, but didn't get recognised as an actual breed until 1962. So that's a massive, massive difference. And in Germany, they're known by an entirely different name, which I'm not going to even attempt to say. It's something like Walitzer Schwarzenschat, or something like that. Probably got that totally wrong, but there you go. They are a very rare breed. They're thought to be only 19,000 or less in the entire world. And they were only found in that region of Switzerland until recent times. And when I say recent times, they only started exporting them to other countries and importing them into the UK in 2014. So with my maths, and that's dodgy, that's around seven years ago. So that's the only uh, length of time they've been available in the United Kingdom. And we're lucky to have a decent sized flock here and we're working very hard to, to look after the breed genetically. So we're always looking uh, for new females with different males to keep the bloodline really, really alive. And that's important for a rare breed. And because there's less than 19,000, they are 100% deemed as a rare breed here in the United Kingdom. So part of our success with the Valet Black Nose uh, is not being as straightforward as you may think. Male sheep get together with female sheep and they have lambs. W what we actually did to sort of make the genetic bloodline as best we could, we did embryo implants. So it was like a foster mum were implanted with the, uh, the eggs and the semen of the Valet Black Nose and they reared them. Because they were proven good mums, they reared the young as their own. And then we had a, a, a solid bloodline, a, a solid genetic uh, positive lambs born, and that has gone on to form our flock. And that's when we then bring different males in to breed with unrelated females to keep the gene pool well and truly alive. Now, it is a dual purpose breed, the valley, where it comes from. Uh, they're, they're very used to grazing up on the mountains in the valley region of Switzerland, hard stony land at the top of the mountain. They can graze really, really well. And they use predominantly for wool and meat, not milk. So it is predominantly a wool and meat breed of sheep. Right guys, so I hope that helps with a little bit more information about our rarest breed of sheep here at Cannon Hall Farm, the Valley Black Nose. Um, as we always do on an educational video, we always end with a few questions and we will always in the future be bringing you updates about the success, hopefully, of the breeding progress of our valleys. So for you guys at home, three questions as always. Um, firstly, can you remember how big at maximum, how heavy at maximum the male can weigh? How long, for question number two, can that lovely fleece grow to? And thirdly and finally, an easy one, what is their country of origin? So it's Farmer Darrell here at Cannon Old Farm. Hope you've liked what you've seen and heard. Share it, like it and follow it and see you all again soon.